Hello. Welcome. Mankind has since time immemorial asked these questions. How should I live while I live? How should I prepare for death? To the Stoic, to live a good life is to live with virtue. And the only way to prepare for death is to remain uncomplaining, unafraid, and to have fulfilled all your duties. Marcus Aurelius said. Don't behave as if you are destined to live forever. What is fated hangs over you. As long you live and while you can, become good now. Death is final. An economist once said, in the long run we are all dead. This is where it all ends for all of us. When we die there is nothing more for us. Our journey has ended. When you die do not worry about your body. Your family will do everything it takes. To give you a decent burial. Many will come to your funeral to honor you. Some will cancel very important appointments. So they can come and honor you. Others will travel far and near. To pay their last respects. People who knew you will mourn and say. Poor chap, he had everything going for him. Very nice things will be said about you at the funeral. Your body will be taken from your house. And delivered to your new address. Close friends will cry for a few hours or a few days. But then they will laugh again. Your family will mourn a few weeks or months. But then they will smile again. Your property and investments will switch to heirs. Your name will be taken off, and another name inserted. The things you didn't give out will be taken by others. Others which are not needed will be sold or donated. Some things you worked all your life for, sweated for, and fought for, will be of no value to anyone. The garbage truck will take them away. And be sure, the world will not stop for you. Not even your neighborhood would stop for you. At work, you will be replaced. Maybe by a more qualified person. Even your favorite pet will get used to its new owner. Someone will sit in your favorite chair and eat from it. Your picture will continue to hang at its favorite spot for a while. But it will soon be taken down to make room for that of a grandchild. Yours will be stored at the bottom of a box in the garage or attic. Deep pain in your family will last for months or even a year or two. Then you will join the fond memories in their memory bank. Your wife or husband will remarry and start a new life. Then your story will end. It will end among people, end here, end in this world. Or so many think. The truth is, this is not the end of your story, far from it. Your life has only just begun in a new reality. Your whole life has only just begun in the afterlife. In this new life, you only need your soul. You see? Eternity has been planted in your heart. So you cannot just disappear, you will live. Your soul is the only property given to you that will last forever. That is why it is important how you treat your soul whilst you are alive. Unfortunately, many of us feed our bodies but starve our souls. We clothe our body, but our soul is naked. We take out life insurance for our bodies. But our souls are left uninsured. The soul has two final destinations. Your final address is not in the grave when you were put. You have two addresses to choose from. Those with soul insurance go to heaven to be with the Lord. Those without soul insurance go to hell to be tormented by Satan. Whilst you are alive make every effort to take out a soul insurance. In fact, do it right now. Your life is a gift that has been given to you by God. And he reserves the right to take it away tonight. A certain man sat back and praised himself for what he had achieved. His plan was to now rest from his labor and enjoy life. Too late, 
for the owner of life, took it away from him. He failed to ensure his soul and ended up in hell. To him, God said. You fool! This very night your soul is required of you, and now who will own what you have? Bible says. And what do you benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your own soul? Mark 8 36. The smartest person is one who ensures both his body and his soul. You already know how to take out a life insurance. You can be assured that when something happens to you, you will not go destitute. But your soul is only safe when it belongs to Christ. It pays to take out soul insurance. It is a simple process. Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. There is nothing in this world more important than a soul insurance. There is nothing you would exchange your life with. Jesus asked. What can anyone give in exchange for their soul? Mark 8 37. There are only two choices before you. Eternal rest in heaven. Or eternal damnation in hell. The path your soul will take depends entirely on you, and no one else. Not your mother, not your wife, not your children. Only you. And it is a choice you make whilst alive. If you fail to make the choice. Once you are dead no one can make it for you. No one can pray for your soul to get out of hell into heaven. Your final destination is sealed the moment you die. The only time you can change addresses is now. Now, whilst you are alive. Choose wisely. Invest wisely. Ensure wisely. It is the most important decision you will ever make. It is a decision that will determine your fate forever. You cannot play with such a decision. Because you see. The Stoics are wrong. Marcus Aurelius was very wrong. You must live today as someone who is destined to live forever. You must live with eternity in mind. In fact, you must plan to live forever. In the long run, you can have life after death. God bless you.